Hello everyone, this is the Arch Fiend and you're looking at a very extensive railroad track that took minutes upon minutes to craft. But today I'm here to give you a different type of video. Uh, one of the reasons I'm giving you a different type of video is because I've been inside my house for 13 days and to help maintain sanity and give you guys a little entertainment and potentially, potentially learn something new and interesting for future parents out there because I had to consult the internet for a lot of these tips and ideas that I picked up to help baby proof my house or just just get it set up for a child and I want to show you some cheap things that oh well, some are cheap some are a bit more expensive but just stuff that I had to do to my house and that you too as a homeowner will probably have to do to your house if and when you become a parent anyway Let's start wasting some time. Okay, first is we have the laundry room here. Like, you know, you don't want a child coming in here. That's where, like, the dog's water is. And that dog water bowl has been flipped over at least 50 times by my child. Okay, simple way to do that would be to close the door. Okay, pretty soon you'll find out a kid just goes like that and opens the door. So what do we do? Well, my wife actually found this on Amazon. It's this little doohickey here. See how it has a little whirly gig there? Well, it's not, it doesn't really whirl, but it goes back and forth on the top of the door. And I'll show you on the opposite side, if you're on the inside of the door, you slide a little whirly gig, okay? Up here, it's just one little piece of plastic. You put a screw in through it. So what you do, just slide that over. And when kid goes, I wanna go flip the dog's water, it prevents the door from opening. Show it from the other side here. Okay, close door, boom. Slide it over, kid goes, I wanna flip the dog's water. No, you're not. I mean, granted, an adult human could, sorry, I went through puberty there. An adult human, if they put like, you know, more than 80 pounds of body force on there, they would knock that over, but child, no way, Jose. If you have a fireplace, um, first off, don't keep a box of dynamite next to it, but we do because we live on the edge. Little foam things like this, because see, like, you don't want him hitting this stone, okay? Invest in this. These are little sticky things. That, granted, they've been ripped off so many times that they lost their sticky tackness, whatever. But this is a must because this kid has come running through that corner so many times, hit the floorboards here off the carpet, slipped, and come close to hitting his head. Not quite hit his head, but come close. Anyways, it's a good thing to have. So let me see what else. Okay, this is one of the more nifty things that I'm proud of. All right, kids, on top of like getting into doors, slamming their fingers in the doors. Ouch! All the time. Simple remedy for that. Get this little sheathing that you get for like copper piping. They sell like professional foam ones that like are like eight bucks a piece. You can get like a whole ream of this at like Lowe's. I got like a, a whole like six foot section of this for like two dollars and fifty cents. Is that kid getting his fingers stuck in there? No. I, he might bump them a little bit, but the point is, is he can't get the door closed any more than that due to the foam being there. It, it goes on and off real easily. Boom, done. Woohoo! This Corona quarantine is going smooth. Anyway. Um, you can see, just got them on all random doors because there's two entry points to our den here going into the foyer, which we realized at our house here that the front door has a lock on it, okay? And you might be like, oh, the kid can get to that lock. Well, actually, he doesn't even need to get to the lock because it opens by itself when you pull the handle. So that's no good. So what we have here is a little locking gizmo. This is like four or five dollars on Amazon. It's just a little metal dealy. You flip up like that, opens the door, boom. Like you just have to chisel, like I chiseled out a little piece of the, the wood side here of the door, three screws in, like the screws go in way deep into the studs and just boom. Close the door, solid. Kid is not pulling that open and it's also an extra device to keep unwanted intruders out because you really have to push the holy hell out of a door to get this down. Like I said, it would have to rip the whole beam off the side of the door frame here. Over here, we have our protection for getting the child up the stairs because you do not want a toddler going up the stairs, tumbling down 
And if you're wondering if I'm a good parent right now, my kid's playing with Play-Doh in the kitchen right now. You hear him tapping. That's how I know he's fine. He's beating the crap out of his Play-Doh. So he's good. So what we have here is my wife actually found someone that makes these little door dealies on Etsy. And they just... She just gave him the dimensions. This was kind of pricey. This was like a hundred some dollars. But the point is, is it looks nice. Cause like when people come in, they see this right away. They're like, wow, you guys are balling. And I'm like, yeah, we are. But how to modify this and how to get this to the wall was all on me. I just simply got a piece of spare pine from Lowe's, cut it at an angle at the bottom, Found, I have a stud finder, which by the way, invest in a stud finder. They're like 15 bucks, a little electronic dealy, so you can find the stud so you're not just screwing into drywall. I just put some screws into the studs, put two hinges on here, but how is it latching? Well, I constructed this little thing just out of spare pieces of wood. Again, just bought some random pieces of pine, screwed them together, and I put a little hinge here, which you can see you use a little carabiner to serve as a little lock that you flip it on and off real quick. And there's just like a typical hinge that you would find like on a fence. Do that end to there. So it latches on there. And over here, just a standard little gate locking fence dealy. Who does it? Who wants it? You got it. Done. Boom. Closes securely. It's on there nice and good. This, I have it bolted so that the bolts hit the the uh, banister beams here and it's just flat down on the steps with it coming flush up to the back of the step here so this doesn't it's solid it doesn't like teeter up and down or anything it adds extra support for the door because like you know a lot of time the kid wants to be like, mommy get out of the shower and you know he's hanging on the door up here and the daddy's up there going mommy get out of the shower too i want to see you get out of the shower anyways that's a whole different video um boom there you go i just stained it so it matches the color of the door i don't know i think that looks pretty dope I mean, I could have like, you know, stained the bolts too so they don't stick out of silver, but it's only going to be here a couple years till we worry about the kid going up on the stairs on his own. And for simple entryways, we got this thing. We actually got this, you can see this in older videos of mine when we had a new dog. It's just a simple little dealie, which we actually have to keep the dog out of here because the carpet is so light in this room. And this is our living room, which is taken over by the, the kid's toys. And the fish. Um, this is just basically keep the dog out of there. So, yeah. Boom. There you go. Dog, you shall not pass. Except when it bounces right back open like that. That's a good ad for that Chinese piece of machinery. It's not really a machinery piece. Anyway. Um, over here, simple thing. It's kind of like tension rods that you'd find on... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, what's that thing you get into? A shower, okay, for shower curtains. It's basically two tension rods that you screw up, and this help keeps, helps keep the kid out of the dining room, which is over at Nya, with a big caterpillar. So the problem is, is you end up getting too many toys, and something like this takes up a lot of room. When the kid wants to play around out here, he gets his toys out, and then he's tripping, and everyone's falling, and it's just a circus of falling. Anyway, so let's go into the kitchen, because the kitchen... We've used a lot of different locks now. We don't have a lock on the fridge. Um, this is key. Make sure if you have one of these to make sure that you're properly locking it because my son comes up and hits this all the time. The kid has respected the lock. I mean the lack of lock on that for now. But I have a feeling we're going to regret that sooner or later. For the oven these little things they're real cheap so you turn the oven off i don't want to turn it on because the stuff on the stove will incinerate and cause a fire and then you'll see the smoke alarms i have go off these little plastic dealies these keep the kid from going in there real cheap couple bucks um on all our cabinetry we have various little locks these things, this is a little simple one, a little push button one. You can get like a dozen of these for like $2. And you just simply put like, I just put like a screw up there for it to catch on. Sorry, it's out of focus, but you get the idea. And you just close the door. Sometimes you have to push down a little bit. Okay, good demo. Excellent. And catches on the screw, keeps from opening. For drawers like this, 
this one you can get like a 10 pack of these at um we got at this place um i don't know if there's one near you it's called toys r us but anyways uh well actually babies r us that was called anyway you push down that boom it's like spring tension and again there's just like a little screw up here that you put it on it catches on the screw so that when you pull it can't get in there anyways i don't know why there's rubber gloves in here you can ask my wife about that rectal exams let's be serious that's what they're for and even like on just to show you that they work on even these corner ones where stuff swings out like that bada bing bada boom bam kid no entry no entry kid you're beat these things we have these on a couple different things and um i have it on loose just so i can show you how to flip it on and off real quick see how lightning quick this is coming off anyway but you can make it tighter and it releases with this button here to release the tension that's for like when you have all your chemicalias i don't know what kind of accent i was going for there um but what we do like is when you have something high like this you can just leave it real loose so it comes off easily since he can't reach up here but if he pulls it like you know what's he getting out of there that's as far and we got it real loose so i mean all you have to worry about is his fingers getting caught in there and slammed on there. But you know what? He's got to learn that sooner or later. Um, we do also have these side mount ones as well. Like these little things. Just have a little give. And again, it's just you put one screw in there. Catches on the screw and keeps it from opening. Let's see. See that? Look at that. Up close and personal action. Kid ain't getting in there. Boom. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, hi, son. You want to see his feet? Show off your feet, son. Yeah. Another gate like this. Excellent gate. This has a little deal. We flip it up, boom, out, in. Again, this also has extra added sections to it. So you can make this a good, I want to say like a good three feet wider or so. And this thing over here, this is for the kitchen. I don't want to set it up all the way, but it unfolds. And then there's a floor that comes down in it. Let's see this thing. Okay, this is really easy to do with one hand. So boom, great demonstration, Archfiend. You flip this down and it gives a floor for the kid to stand on. It's a portable little tower and it has things so the kid can't get out. A little nonstick mat. And this is for when your kid's in the kitchen. Your kid wants to see what you're doing in the kitchen. Something like this is a must have. Don't you like to watch mommy cook all the time? A yes or no would suffice. Do you like to watch mommy cook? He's eating Play-Doh. Let's leave him alone. Anyway, um, another lock here. This is like you're all serious. Like <laughs> you are never going to pass till like you're at least 13 and you figure out how to work this. This is like you just like ad adults. A lot of adults that try to go down into our basement can't figure this lock out. This is a deal where like, um, hello, what? What is this? What do you? It, you think that's funny? You think that's funny that an adult can't get down into the basement? Anyways, what you do? You push in, slide up, boom. It's funny. The door opened. Isn't that funny? All right, kids are so easily amused. No, I'm not going down to the basement, but thank you. Okay. We're going to stay upstairs. Very good. Thank you for your contribu contribution to this video, son. So, yeah, this is a very good thing, except the one thing that I like more about, like, the one that we had on the laundry room door is you can open it on both ends. This one, you open it up. If someone closes that behind you, okay, the door of laughter opened again. You're boned if someone closes that behind you. Like, you're not getting... Actually, you know what? I don't know if it... This is a good test. And... Oh, no, no, no. See, it still won't open. Okay. Learn something new every day. Though I assumed that's what it did. So anyways, baby proof in your house. I would say everything that I showed you... Um... <sighs> Aside from the gate that we had specialty made off of Etsy, I mean, that thing was custom made by someone that makes like barn doors for horse stalls and stuff like that. Um, 
something like this again this was like 80 to 100 dollars but we got that because we just won the custom style of it and yeah we think it looks nice but anyway um aside from that everything else like 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 getting the spare pieces of wood the bolts the the pipe things for the um side of the doors you're looking at like a $30 investment of everything, like including like this foam stuff, $30, $40 max. And even on, oh, I forgot to show you our last thing over here. We have these uh, magnetic keys. We have several of them. There's little locking mechanisms in each one of these doors where, boom, you just, you know, put that there like, yeah, and voila, doors open. Take it off, and when it's closed properly, it won't open back up. So it's a little magnet mechanism that drops a little latch that goes down when this is applied. And you can also, like at a later date when the kid grows up or you just don't want to take them off or whatever, you can put them in an unlocked position, which actually I'll show you because we have them on the drawers in Nya as well. And see, we have another locking key out here. Put it on there. Okay, so see, a little locking me mechanism, up, down, up, down. So you want permanently open. Flip that little switch, keeps the locking mechanism down permanently. Up, locks, kid is boned. You're not getting in there. So, there we go. What do you guys think? You know, anyways, I liked seeing videos like this when I was a dad and I was looking to baby proof my house. By the way, if you got your census stuff, please, you know, fill it out, I guess. I don't know. What am I? I'm not getting paid by the government. Screw them. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. And these wooden trains are endless entertainment along with Play-Doh as well as sustenance because my kid eats Play-Doh, but not much. Anyway, I always like seeing videos like this and with the coronavirus lockdown and all that jazz, it's just nice to take a break from things here, just maintain my sanity and give a little bit back to the community here. Son, anything else you want to add? What'd you say? More, more Play-Doh to eat? Okay. All right. I got to go feed him a Play-Doh birthday cake. And I'm probably making some more videos. Because, again, I've been locked up in my house for 13 days. I haven't gone anywhere other than to go grocery shopping. So, catch you guys later. That is all.